Hello, and welcome to part two of our Brava desktop presentations, enhancing capture and retrieval of PII through OCR and redaction scripts. My name is Christopher Carrasco, and I am a solutions consultant for the Open Text Portfolio team specializing in the Brava product line. If you're able to watch our Brava desktop part one presentation on capturing and redacting personal identifying information, PII, then you're already aware of just how important it is to have intelligent tools to protect sensitive information. Failure to properly secure PII can lead to many issues for organization from reputational brand damage to punitive consequences for regulatory violations. While the securing of PII is paramount, it is also important to strive for efficiency while doing so. Luckily, we have Brava to rely on. In this demonstration, I will be taking on the role of a chief loan officer. Due to having an increasingly large amount of applications to review, I have been tasked with finding a more efficient way of securing PII. I know I can already do manual redactions with Brava, but in order to maximize my team's workload management, I need to create redaction scripts that can be continuously used to apply preset redactions to loan applications that come in. In this example, we're going to look to make a script that I can redact social security numbers, email addresses, and phone numbers from a loan application. As we can see here on page two of this document, we have examples of everything that we are looking to redact. Social securities are present, phone numbers, we also have email addresses. Now in order to start this script, I'm simply going to need to go to File, go to my markup menu, and start the script recording. And then we'll select a name for what our script will be. Now that we have selected a name for the script and begin the process, any redactions that I apply to this document will be recorded by Brava. That way we know which steps to be taken in the future whenever we open documents to apply the same script too. So now we'll go to our redact menu. And we'll go ahead and use our Redact Privacy Information, which has a lot of the preset selections in Brava for grabbing uh, common types of information that need to be secured. So we want to do social security numbers, phone numbers, and email addresses. We'll go ahead and apply the redaction. And we can see here that we were able to capture all of that information that we were looking to redact from the document. So now that I've made sure that all the redactions are applied, I'm going to stop my script recording. and we will select to save it. And now the script has been recorded. Now to make sure that it worked, let's go ahead and close out of the document. We're not going to save the markup, just so we want to make sure that there's nothing on the file when we open it again. Okay, the document is now open and we will go back to our second page. As we can see, there are no redactions applied. Now, rather than me going through the redact menu and applying those redactions again, let's go ahead and just run the script that we created. And as we can see here, it went ahead and applied those redactions automatically without us needing to go through and manually select the redactions. And this can be used with any of the applications that are coming in going forward, so it can very quickly redact the uh, PII information for us without having to take more time to identify the information manually. Now we'll go ahead and close out of this document. Another issue that I've been facing as the uh, chief officer is that we get a lot of our applications in through email scans and faxes. And the problem with that is that it comes in as an image file. The problem with an image file is that it doesn't have any recognizable text. So here we see the same document that came in, the same loan application, but this has been sent in via fax. The problem we have here is I'd like to run my script against this document, and as you can see, I can't. The reason I can't is because Brava recognizes that there is no text on this document, so there is nothing to run the script against, it's just an image. Luckily with Brava, we also are able to do optical character recognition, also known as OCR. So let's go ahead and configure Brava to do OCR when opening these documents. That way it's set to OCR the documents upon loading. We'll reopen the file, 
And what's going on here now is that Brava is going to extract all of that text information from this faxed in copy of the loan application. That way we can actually use the redaction scripts because that text is now present and able to be redacted. As you can see, now we can run a script against this document. What we'll do now is use a script that was actually created in part one of the Brava presentation, which has a little bit more information to it. With this script, you'll get to see some of the flexibility and options with the Brava redactions, especially with scripting that allow you to create your own redaction colors will be recorded, as well as apply the redaction reasons. So you have an explanation to why the information was removed from the document versus just having the redaction on its own. In this case, you can see that it, the redactions are different colors. And if I hover over them, you can see the text information of who applied the redaction. And also where it says privacy information, that gives you an indication of why it was redacted. For this, it was obviously related for privacy information. This one's listed as PII. There are other numerous redactions that are applied throughout the file as well. So in this demonstration, we were able to identify and redact PI information using the Brava desktop tool. We were able to further enhance the redaction of PII just efficiently using redaction scripts to make sure we go through and do those redactions automatically versus the manual process. And then when it came to those faxed in copies of documents, we were able to leverage Brava's powerful OCR technology to extract text from that image in order to run our redaction scripts against. If you ever have any questions regarding anything with Brava Desktop or Brava Enterprise, feel free to reach out to IGC sales at opentext.com. And that concludes our webinar for enhancing capture and retrieval of PII through OCR and redaction scripts. Thank you for listening.